Hey everybody, IDIF man here bringing you my first commentary. It is of Super Mario 64, one of my favorite oh my games of all time, and I am proud to bring this to you hey, today. Please come to the castle. I baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. So Princess Peach is baking us a cake, and we well, we wanna go get some cake. Because we're Mario and we love cake. Um Yeah, again, this is your typical Mario with bare minimum plot. But this game is more about like the platforming and well some of the puzzles too. But here we are. Mario comes from God knows where the hell Mario came to get here. And here we are, and we're going to get our basic introduction to, uh, the controls. The controls in this game, they're not bad at all. They're actually pretty tight. I like them. My favorite is the long jump, as I'm doing right now. And then we get some... story. Yeah, Princess Peach has been captured. This guy, Lakuta, is going to, uh... Tell us how to use the camera, and, uh, cameras, film us. So, let's go in the castle and see what the hell has been going on here. Oh, it's Bowser, because it's always Bowser. I gotta say, too, this music is so great. It's just, I love it so much. Like, it's, it's just nice. Just listen to it. Dude, it's, it's just so great, and I love it. But let's get into our first world, as we're going to jump through the painting and begin this journey. Where shall we go? Big Bob I'm on the summit. So basically, we're going to jump into paintings, enter new worlds, and... Finds power stars to rescue the princess. Like, this level is a great, like, introduction level. It's. I like the music, it's really catchy. A great thing about this game is. is secret spanking. Like, this is star one, but I'm getting star six right now. It's, it's, it's one of the things that I appreciate a lot about. Damn, got hit twice. This is one of the things that I appreciate a lot about this game that the other games don't really do. Sunside does it a little bit. I don't think the Galaxy games do it at all, really. And why is this such a bitch to get? Come on, get the star. So there's our first power star right off the bat. And this is... I think this is the last star you get in this uh, course. So, and now we can go into uh, other doors that we will get to in the next part, but, so, yeah, basically we've recovered some, uh, a, a stolen power star, and now we can go ahead and, uh, access other parts of the castle, you know, so yeah, this is Bama Battlefield, I, I really don't know why, yeah, yeah okay, so, now we're going to get, I believe we're going to go get the intended star. I gotta say too, again, this is, like, when I think about Mario 64, this is the track, musically, that comes to my mind, because it just defines Mario for me. I kind of risk that they did, um, this in the remake, when they did it for, uh, Galaxy 2. Instead of a uh, drop fortress and uh, the next course, it's just I think this is more Mario 64 than that. As I almost slide down to make this more long, uh, uh just this theme, this level, I I, I think this is uh, exemplifies 64 more. Um, so. I don't know, I, I, I still do like the remake of Thromp's Fortress. Thromp's Fortress, whatever. But, basically, this is more Mario 64 to me. 
And here's King Babam, which is basically gonna tell us how to defeat Bowser. This guy's absolutely pissed. He's he just dive right by him, right? No. Grab, go behind him. Hit B. Grab him. Throw him. And repeat. I, again, this... This is such a great introduction to just how to... You know, move around in the 3D space and how you just defeat Bowser and everything. I think this is a great way to start this game off. I think it does a really good job of just being able to guide the player where they need to go and learn the skills that they need to learn for future courses. I think this is a good introduction course. Honestly, I think all these courses in the beginning are pretty good. But... Okay, so the next one is Foot Race with this guy, Koopa Troopa. Koopa the Tooper, whatever his name is. So he's basically a good challenge us to a race, and it's basically rinse and repeat. Go back to the same spot that we did. I believe this is the first time we hear the slide music, but I may be wrong about that. I'm not remembering everything at this second. See, my problem is sometimes I don't hit the, uh, by the way, for the record, I am recording this on the Wii U, I didn't say that, but... Uh, my problem sometimes is when I'm doing the long jump, I do the ground pound instead because I don't get the timing right. For some reason, I always seem to have trouble with that, it's kind of annoying if you're asking me, but... Yeah... Like, this guy is piss easy. If you're not a complete moron, then... You'll do just fine with this. It's just, it's nothing. That's a warp point if you want to use it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, just sit here and wait for like 10 15 seconds because this guy is pretty slow. But my thing, talking about 64 for a second, the reason why I like this game so much is his replayability. Like, this game has the most replayability of any Mario that I've played in a while. Maybe 3D Land matches it for me. But besides that, this game has a lot of replayability. So, yeah, we beat this guy and uh, we will collect our star. Bada bing, bada boom. Here we go. Ah, yes. So, there is our third power star already. First race with Koopa the Troop, Koopa the Crick. And now with three stars, we can open more courses. But we won't be getting there anytime soon. Shoot to the island in the sky. So we get our first instance of using cannons and You know, they're not bad at all. And I do not know why I did not talk to the bomb out first. I think I'm starting to realize that. Yep, go back. Because you need to go talk to the bomb out first. I think I was just <laughs> I think when I was recording this, I think I was just in a hurry to try get that star. It's kinda of funny. So, yeah, the bomb, talk to the bomb mom, they're peace slowing people, they'll go ahead and give us the, uh, access to the cannon. But, yeah, 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 this is teaches us, you know, use A, you know, you know te uh, teach us how to use the cannon and everything. Um, it's not that bad. I like to use this cannon, there's other ways to do it. Like, I know some people would use that cannon right by the bomb mom, I like this one better. I don't even think that's possible, but whatever. And I think I miss. Yeah, I miss. The aim can be a little off for me at times. I quite misjudge my timing at times. <laughs> to be quite honest, I kind of miss uh, timing at times and don't properly align myself. But again. This is such a basic introduction course that it's just, uh, it's, it's a nice way to get players into the game. And I think this time I do it, I think, it got aimed at just a little lower. I always, like, I've seen people do it where they, Mario goes up, straight, 
and flies down to the island here, but I like to go for, um, the tree. Grab the tree and then get the star. Because I, I, that's just the way I've always played it, so I, that's basically how I do it. Um, and that's just me. So I think this is going to be the red coin mission now. I believe we're going on to the red coin mission here, if I remember, because I recorded this like a week ago. But this, yes, red coin mission is what I thought. Uh, red coin mission isn't bad. Um, this, because it's such a confined area. Um, and I know where they are because I've played this like a million times. But I like, um, I like red coin missions where they're in confined places. I don't like Hazy Maze and some of the other ones. And definitely don't want to care about the goddamn. I mean, uh, well, there's YouTube censoring. Uh, no ads on my goods. Uh, well, anyways. I, I, I like confined spaces. I don't like spending 30 minutes, um, <laughs> on one mission for red coins. Or 100 coin missions. To be honest, I don't usually do 100 coin missions, you know. Um, especially this game. I just, no. I have not 100% of this game. It's one of my backlog things to do for video games. I have a lot of that. Ouch. That hurt. But, yeah, it's, it's what my backlogs to finally 100% this. And there's some reasons for that that I'll discuss when we get to them. But this red coin mission is pretty standard. Not bad. Okay, it's just a nice confined area where you can find everything kind of easy, kind of quick, you know, but I just, I don't like red coin missions at all, you know, it's just, I don't know. Oh, we, okay, 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 good, 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 this actually gives me a chance to show this off. Now, if you hold on to C or whatever button corresponds to whatever, you know, First in the, this game you're using Wii U, Wii, emulator, I don't know, but you could do this like spider walk and you can <laughs> basically s climb up these hills with no physical or logical reason to be able to do it and you just walk up these things and uh, uh or actually climb, not walk, my bad, but uh, and, and be able to get places that you basically realistically shouldn't, but this is the Mario franchise and I tend not to care about realistic, real world stuff. Physics, science, when it comes to video games. <coughs> I'll tell you. <coughs> Goddamn. <coughs> I, I always swore. There goes my ad revenue. <laughs> I might get blacklisted. Huh, <laughs> great. There goes my YouTube career before it even started. Uh... But... Yeah. This is pretty standard, and I like this. And if you could... You know, this is just... This is one of those levels that... It's good. Um, so, the last two coins are going to be right over here. I did this specifically because I just wanted to waltz right to the star at the end. So, but ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up the first part of Super Mario 64. Thank you so very much for watching. I will see you in the next part.